Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D hardcore tutorial and first let me uh, apologize I have a background noise uh, neighbors of ours is playing music well never mind so in this tutorial um, we are going to learn how to uh, overcome um, bullying's uh, issues okay so as most of you know, bullying is not the most stable uh, function in Maya, but I thought uh, to myself after a few comments and questions from subscribers and fans um, that it's necessary to create a tutorial in order to explain something, which basically it's supposed to be very very easy to understand and I hoped that most of you who are already experienced uh, hours with Maya uh, will understand this but um, it's obvious that no people doesn't understand so um, let's see what I can teach you and what the approach should be when you come to these uh, problems like trying to bull indifference something and it disappears so I will open um, a file uh, I actually picked the iPhone uh, model that I have made a tutorial for just to explain because uh, mainly this is where we had these issues and uh, that's why I think that it should be a good example okay but first let me find this it should be somewhere here graphic projects where is it graphic projects I don't see graphic pro projects okay uh, my projects and iPhone and see now I don't remember in which of them it were but let's just pick someone okay uh, iPhone yeah, let's try this one. Okay, so this is the iPhone, and <clears throat> as you remember, we had issue when it comes to create this, uh, you know, plugin input for uh, our uh, headset headphones. So what we were doing is taking a cylinder, as I recall, uh, bring it up here and scale it to about so, adding a little bit more <coughs> subdivision axis, so it will be uh, the rounded circle will be uh, smooth and then we placed it somewhere here like so and okay so something like this. Now I hope that now when I will do the boolean, uh, actually I I do want it to make an issue. So let's see. Picking the iPhone, picking this hole, this cylinder, uh, mesh, booleans, and difference. All right. So everything is still in place, intact. So the iPhone is here, and we do not have any problem here. But thing is um, that if we add a problem I want to uh, explain how we can overcome this okay so let's say for instance we have this cylinder here okay so we undo this because uh, let's just say that the iPhone did disappear together with the cylinder and we have this cylinder and we have this surface here so basically what we have here we only have a face okay this face is here and this is what we are actually applying the booleans to okay so what's what more easier than create a nice plane that this plane will actually be this kind of face here uh, we can decrease the subdivision axis so it will be nice and clean as in here and just giving it a little bit of this uh, face kind of look okay 
and now when we are dealing with two different pieces we can pick this face shift pick this one mesh booleans and difference okay so that will make sure that uh, even if we do face those issues when the booleans is disappearing the uh, iPhone uh, so in this case we still have the iPhone the only thing we left to do right now is actually picking this face delete it and patch this part first let me go over modify center pivot so I'll get my axis curses and try to place it over here so for this you don't really need to uh, it's not really hard to understand what to do you just using the for view in order to place it uh, where it should be at the same height let's see like so okay and then switch back to perspective view grab this vertex hold down the V key and move it so it will in tucked in this attach to this vertex to this vertex now these vertices and basically what we should do is just patch them okay so um, first thing we need to do is grab the iPhone grab this face mesh combine them and then <clears throat> just choose these two make sure you don't select anything else except those okay I will select with control to make sure that I didn't select anything else go over edit mesh merge them no they didn't merge so let's just get closer to this to here and mesh hmm let's try the interacty the merge vertex tool maybe okay so. okay I thought that I think I just a little bit brought them very close to each other using this snapping so it was a little bit harsh to do this okay but you get the main idea right so we still have the iPhone and we have the all and we can do from here whatever we want we can uh, sorry object mode choose the selection tool shift sorry shift right click insert edge loop insert an edge loop here insert another one close to it and then just choose face choose these row of faces extrude them inside like so bring it oh sorry let's unextrude this because I need to keep faces together and extrude this and bring them all up at once like so and then maybe extrude them once again just a little bit and then extrude them once again and bring them down like so so you see this is how we dealing with booleans that uh, are malf malfunction mal malfunction okay and um, I hope this is understood and this is one way to overcome uh, although I do want to uh, just note few things uh, whenever you have this issue when the uh, object is disappearing although you can use this approach I do uh, how to say it I do recommend you to um, check few things like the normals okay so um, whenever you do maneuvers to faces like here like this uh, area here you know uh, all this extrusion part and then bring it back inside things are 
usually get into uh, disorder and some faces can be flipped and then this be this can be one of the causes that make the the main object and the one that you are going to use to bullion uh, to disappear it can be I'm not sure but uh, some logic thought uh, about it uh, brought me to uh, declare this thing and also um, Another tip is always to make sure you have enough uh, edges, okay, edges uh, in the surface you are going to uh, extrude from. Although in this phase we don't have, but it does uh, it does right. Um, it, it's it's better to have edges to rely on, okay. Uh, this can uh, almost always. Uh, will make sure that your uh, whatever boolean function you do uh, both of the objects will have uh, a meeting points okay those edges will used as a meeting points and they can relay uh, one one of one on each other okay so that's pretty much it and the main thing is to remember this method and to trust it uh, more than you trusting the booleans itself um, it will uh, save you a lot of time and headaches and whatever okay so I hope you enjoy this and I'm happy that I finally had a time to create this tutorial because I had in mind I had this tutorial in mind for a long time uh, only because of uh, many comments that I getting in private or on the tutorials itself so now uh, it's kind of a relief. So, see you again in a new tutorial whenever I have time to create one. Um, I'm in the mood to create some tutorials, so uh, I hope I will have some more time to spare and few other uh, subjects or issues to talk about and resolve. Okay, see you. Bye.